Hey guys, so today I am here with my Project Use It Up um, April finale, May intro. This month I had for April seven things, and if you remember, they were very random. Um, and I finished all but one, which is great, because they were all things that um, I could live without, and I've really been trying to pick out um, the items just in my entire life that I could live without and then either use them up or get rid of them. The first thing that I used up, I'll just go straight down the list, um, is this Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. Um, it was right there at the first update, there at the second, and now it's gone. I, I don't know how to feel about it. I, I didn't, like, hate it, but I don't think it did anything. It just didn't work well with my skin. This was the uh, Ulta eyeshadow stick in rose gold. It is, whoa. So this thingy fell out, but look at that. There's the products. You can see I have no more. This, I really loved the color of it. It was honestly amazing, but I, it was really greasy and oily. And so it wasn't something that you would put down and then put something on top of because it would crease and make that go away. I mean, it was, it was really odd. Then I did finish the Lorac Nude eyeshadow that I repressed into this here pan. That was a pretty color, but I just hate the rock shades. Once you press, like repress them, they just go like that, and it was, um, it just was shattering everywhere, and uh, it was too soft. So I have these Jergen samples, um, and I used one, um, but I didn't use the other ones, and I'm just gonna toss them because um, this is in medium to tan. And I am see-through to white. <laughs> if that were a shade, that's what I would be. I didn't realize that it was medium to tan, so when I put it on, I was bright orange. I think I have footage in Caleb and I's vlog um, during that time, and it was so embarrassing. And because I am so fair, it was so blotchy. And I have these pore strips from Winco, which these were okay. It was really, really cheap compared to the Bior ones. And... They did, I've tried the Bior ones, and I personally feel like they did just as much, um, but I still don't think they did much. Does that make sense? Like, they were very comparable to Bior, but even the Bior ones I don't think are super amazing, so obviously these weren't then either. But for the price, if you do think Bior is great and you think it works well for your skin, highly recommend. But the last thing that I used up was the Lancome Youth Activating Eye Concentrate, and this is... Boop. completely used up. I personally didn't think that it was that great for the price and it honestly um left my skin feeling very dry which is so odd. The one thing that I didn't, didn't finish was this Gel Presso Pencil Gel Liner Mini in Golden Black Number no. 5 from Slyo Slyo. I did get there and I was all the way up here a third of the way done with it I would say I only finished a third of it I did not uh wear this as often as I probably should have I do like it it does stay on so much oh my god I've never had an eyeliner stay on so much I'm gonna rush to use it up though because I use it when I feel like wearing eyeliner and um I really enjoy it so I'm not in a rush by any means I would be fine if I didn't finish this until like June or July it would be no big deal to me um but I did get about a third of the way done. So obviously I'm going to continue this into uh, the month of May. Try to finish it up a little bit more if I feel like it. And then this is a little bit different. A lot of bit different. Um, but I was going around my collection, going around my apartment. Um, and just looking for things that I uh, didn't want or didn't um, like or anything like that. And I really couldn't find anything for this month of May. Um, I couldn't really find anything that I wanted to use up. Um, within my makeup collection, I looked through everything and I was just like really content with what I have. The thought that I would do is I have one thing that I did pick out from my makeup collection that I would like to um, use up or try to use up solely for the purpose because I want to buy another of the same kind. 
you'll see. And then what I did is I have this little cute adorable basket with all samples inside, deluxe size. And I thought, why not start going through those? Like, why not start getting rid of your samples and actually try things? And then if you wanna repurchase it, repurchase it or what, whatever. But why not start using things um, to try? So I thought that that might be a little bit more exciting because um, I won't know. I'm just gonna go through and like randomly pick. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to be using up this month and um, I thought that that might be a little bit more interesting to for the next probably two months it would take to use up this stuff um, just do that and try to literally use up all of my deluxe size samples so the one thing that um, was in my makeup collection that I have on today actually because it's in my everyday makeup that I would love to finish and I'm going to throw in this project actually is this little guy that I got from a birch box last May so a year ago um this is the bomb desert bronzer slash blush and this is where I'm at with it the reason that I want to use this up is because I really want um to get and try the butter bronzers from physicians formula to pick five things out of here so that i have seven items total um these two are deluxe size so i think seven deluxe size samples doesn't seem super out of the park like that seems pretty okay and i wouldn't be like mad or upset if i didn't finish anything since i am getting so low on items to um use up and try to get rid of what it is i actually just did a video on it if you all about make cosmetics first impressions they sent me these um two little samples and this was one of them this is their matte uh lipstick in taffy and it is a really pretty nude but look at how little that sample is that'll be a piece of cake to use up and i will be so glad to have it out because the packaging's like really small and bad but let me give you I actually have a uh, victoria's secret bombshell perfume I've never used up a perfume on here before um and it is completely brand new so no nothing out of that one what's weird is um i'm actually using the body spray to this scent um right now so i guess i'll be able to finish this up this month but it is really small it's only 0.25 fluid ounces so we will see but i need body lotion this is actually from um <laughs> Caleb's birch box, but he hates body lotion, so he gave it to me. This is the Das Boom Industries Everywhere Lotion. It is um in the scent West Indies. It is Bay Rum Smoke and Dirt. Exactly what every woman wants to smell like. So um, this, which I've actually used up a little bit of, not really much, but a little bit. It's really hard, and the packaging is honestly so shitty, but. This is the Jersey Shore Spa Anti-Aging Lip and Hand Polish, all natural in the scent Vanilla Bean. I love this stuff, I really do. The packaging is terrible, like I said, which honestly kind of makes me not want to use it all the time, but I love it. It smells amazing. It's a really good lip scrub. I don't use it. I have no idea what it is, to be honest. This is called Go Away Gloomy Day for extra boost to your skin. After using toner, I don't use a toner, and tap gently, then apply lotion afterwards, use morning and night. So you apply it to your face after washing, we'll say, and then I apply my moisturizer. Huh. I do have some and just pat it on. I don't know. I guess we'll find out, won't we? But I'm really, like, excited about all of the products I chose, actually. Um... A lot of these are ones that I've never tried, um, and I'm excited to see where I can get with them. It would be amazing if I could um, try to test them and then uh, get them out of my collection just to make sure that I have things that I only really, really like. So I think that this month will be a little bit easier than usual, but I'm really excited um, for these products and um, to use them up and, and see how I like them. So I'm excited. Um, it'll be a good one. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and this project. Um, be sure to subscribe if you want to be notified anytime I upload and check out my vlog channel. I will see you guys in the next video.